Hey, how's it going, everyone? Saints fan here, and welcome to this week's episode of Fashion Friday. Now, in addition to the outfits, I also am going to be showing off how to save CEO outfits because I don't know if this is like really new or not, but the original way that I showed about a few months ago where you stood inside of your hot tub in or on your yacht and you killed yourself and you retired and walked out and you saved your CEO outfit. Apparently that doesn't work anymore, but there's a slightly different method that does work. So I don't know if Rockstar's ever gonna patch this. I mean, it seems like they always do. So if you, uh, if you need a CEO outfit for anything, then this video is gonna be for you. But anyway, if you do wanna submit your own outfit for next week's episode, just go on Twitter and tweet me a picture of everything. And if you do enjoy this series, I'd appreciate if you could drop this video a like. Let's see if we can hit 1500 likes on this episode. But anyway, starting off with the first outfit. And this is the one that actually involves the CEO glitch. This one's probably one of the most unique ones that uh, I think we've done in, in a recent time. But this one's called the Modern Assassin by Sean. And I'll start with the glitch first, just to get it out the way. So to do it, one, you're gonna need a yacht and you're gonna need a hot tub. Become a CEO and you're gonna have to walk into the hot tub while switching your outfits. Cause like it, it'll, once you walk into the hot tub, it'll put on your swimsuit. But then if you keep switching your outfits, it will put on the CEO outfit, pick whatever one you want. The one we're gonna use for this video is the warlord outfit. Cause we're gonna need the pants for it. Now, while you're in the hot tub, go ahead and retire as a CEO. And this is where you're gonna need some sticky bombs place the sticky bombs on the stairs and then go pretty much walk or, or stand next to them uh, and then you're gonna want to register as a CEO and then right as you register you know hit left or right on the d-pad to blow up the sticky bombs and kill yourself when you spawn you'll be wearing the CEO stuff now go inside of your uh, yacht to save this outfit once you're inside the yacht and you're about to save it just put on like a different hat or like change change something up you can change the shoes well, not for this one because we're going to need the shoes, but for any other one, you can change the shoes. You can change like the hat, uh, the gloves or something. Just change something and then back out, retire as a CEO. And now you should be wearing that outfit. From here, you can save it as an actual outfit and you should be good. But like I said, since we are doing the modern assassin outfit, what we're going to do is change up a few things. So we're going to keep the pants and the shoes because they're pretty cool and they're different than any other ones that are in the game. For the top, we're going to put on the light gray hooded jacket with a gray scarf. Although, if you want, you can put on the body armor, like the gray body armor. I think it's the heavy body armor. Unfortunately, you can't wear both at the same time because Rockstar made that decision a long time ago and they never went back on it. And then for the accessories, go with the tan cap, the white tight ski mask, the tan wool gloves, and the, well, like I said, the gray body armor. To actually get the tan cap underneath the hooded version of like the jacket what you're going to want to do is save the mask first so save the mask the the tight or the white tight ski mask so it'll put the hoodie up and then save that as an outfit you're going to need a bike for this next step actually equip the tan cap so you're not wearing anything on your head besides the tan cap get on the bike wait till he puts the helmet on get off the bike and when your guy takes the helmet off quickly switch back to the saved outfit with the mask and the hood up and it'll glitch the hat underneath the hood so there you have it i know it's a little bit complicated but i think it looks really cool it definitely has a sort of modern assassin i think he said assassin's creed that's the sort of style he's going for or like a modern a sniper but either way i think it looks really cool it is unique and i love the outfits that are unique and that just look different than you know most of the other outfits that we've always done but uh moving into the second outfit we have the bounty hunter from axel garcia to make this one, it's a charcoal combat sweater with the standard armor. For the bottom, black camo cargo pants and black tactical boots. And then the accessories, the black desert scarf, the black fingerless gloves, the charcoal parachute, the skull bandana. And if you wanted to, I put this on the black cap, but that's optional. I like this outfit. It's a good combination of gray and black. It's a good balance of the darker colors. Everything flows really nicely, and it's just a pretty badass outfit in my opinion. And uh, normally we don't really use the combat sweaters that often, so I figured, why not for this outfit? Number three, we have the tactical officer from Martin. And I know it seems like every other week there's a uh, police military guy, but I don't know. I think this one looks pretty cool because I don't know if we've ever done a black with the blue uh, for the police outfit. But to make it start with the police top, 
Then put the black armor and the black parachute on for the bottom black heist pants with black tactical boots. Accessories, the black watch, the black fingerless gloves, the black cap, the black Hawaiian glasses, the great earpiece, and the black desert scarf. Like I said, it's just, it's a, you know, pretty basic uh, military cop outfit, but it does look nice. The, the black going with the sort of navy blue from the police top looks cool and everything else, it just looks pretty badass. It's, you know, the, the ear piece, you know, the gloves and the hat and everything. So pretty awesome outfit. Number four, we have the MMA fighter, which is so simple, but like, I don't know how no one's thought of this before. This one's from Sonic Speed. This one's so cool. And I, I don't know if you guys are big fans of MMA, but if you are, then this is a great outfit. And there's also a female version, which I'll get to in a second. So there's, you don't put any top on. For the bottom, just put the two-tone green shorts with no shoes. And then for the accessories, go with the, um, the black fingerless gloves and the biker haircut. You know, any color is up to you. And then just put a bunch of tattoos on and you look like a <laughs> you look like an MMA fighter. And he also says to use the knuckle crunch action just because I, I, that fits the character, that fits the outfit. But yeah, this is like, it's such a simple outfit, but it looks so cool in my opinion. And um, just for how simple it is, you know, you can't beat it. Next up, we have the Los Santos Murderer. And uh, these next two are actually just some, some pretty fun ones. Uh, but this one's the Los Santos Murderer. Halloween's coming up, so if you want to... Be a little crazy then you can go with this one choosing the new black jc leather jacket with a night polo shirt underneath it for the bottom slate jeans black scruffy boots and then for the accessories the black bloody hockey mask with the black leather gloves and then long hair just because i figure long hair just makes you look more like a murderer <laughs> for some reason um but yeah pretty cool you know not for everyone i can understand but i, I like the the use of the of the new jacket and then the last one we have for the males with gameplay is the Titanic Officer from Brett. And I don't know, I just, I really like the way this one looked. And I'll put up a comparison picture here. It's pretty similar to, you know, what, what it is. To make it, put a white tuck shirt on with the black wool coat, black suit pants for the bottom with all black Chelsea boots. And then for the accessories, the black tie, the black leather gloves. And then I went with white hair and the white, like, full beard just because, you know... The Titanic is old school, so if you have a an older looking character, you know, you might be able to make this work a little bit better than mine. But no, I don't know. I just thought it looked pretty decent. So, oh, you also need the uh, the police top I f or the police hat, as you can see. I forgot to put that in the thing, unfortunately, but pretty cool. Now, getting into the female outfits, we only have two, unfortunately. Weren't that many this week, but like I said, one from Sonic Speed. We have the female MMA fighter, which is absolutely incredible. So to make it put pinched cornrows, the haircut on. For the top, the off-white crop tank top with black fingerless gloves. For the bottom, white sport shorts with no shoes. And then for the action, like I said, knuckle crunch and tattoos are recommended. Pretty badass. And then we have one from Jack called the personal assistant. Pretty cool one. The black turtleneck with the black fitted shiny pants. The black rounded heels. Black casual glasses. And, uh, you know, hair and all that stuff is up to you. But pretty different. If you just want a more chill, laid back sort of female outfit. Anyway, I will, once I stop commentating, I will have all the other outfits that you guys submitted this week. And if you do want to submit more, just like I said in the description is my Twitter. Go there and tweet at me the outfit for next week's episode. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. See you all in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.